What do you build me up? Buttercup and it just to let me down And mess me around in the worst of all What is going on guys? I am at Sea Order Atlanta today and as you can see I'm in line for Fanta and I'm ready to start this day and look at this. Okay, so I just rode Manta, and I rated a 9.5 out of 10. This is my favorite b and flying coaster over Superman. And Dad, what did you think of it? I thought it was pretty awesome. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so I just rode Mako two times, one with my dad and one by myself, and one in the front, front row and back row. And I rate both rides a 9.5 out of 10. I would say Mako is a backseat ride for sure, because, like, when you get pulled over in the back, you, like, get floater air time on the first drop i felt a little bit on the first in the in the drop in the, on the drop in the front row but not as prominent as in the back and this is overall my favorite freaking bnm hyper coaster and yeah Okay, so I just rode Kraken right there, and I'd rate it a 9 out of 10. I mean, there was a little bit of a rattle, but the other people are saying it's rough, rough, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Like, guys, don't bash on it. This is smooth right here. So yeah, I think it's in the top tier, t t top tier floorless coasters. And my favorite personal part was when you come out of that element right there and then you go in the tunnel and yeah that's a just a cool tunnel and okay, guys yeah. so i just rode journey to atlantis right there with my family and i'd rated a nine out of ten it was a really good water ride probably the best water ride i've ever been on and my parents are waiting to get in and they thought it was good and so guys what'd you think of it awesome loved it very good oh, oh yeah what'd you rate it ten for sure. Oh yeah. Baby. Okay, so I just rode Icebreaker and I rate it a nine out of ten. This is a good launch coaster. Like it was probably my favorite multi-launched coaster. Like the airtime you get, it's a little bit, but nothing special. But still a good ride on Icebreaker. But I'll, although I feel like the airtime was just a little and nothing special, but yeah, it was a good ride on Icebreaker. In the okay, front so I just rode Mako for the third time, and I rate it a 10 out of 10. Mako is my favorite B&M hyper coaster. It definitely warmed up. I got a row six ride on it, but that's still all right. And yeah. Okay, so I just had my second ride on Manta, and I rate it a nine and a half out of 10. Like, oh my God. In the back, you get pulled over that lift hill. It feels amazing. And so, yeah, definitely ride Manta in the back if you come here to see Water Orlando. And I would recommend just coming here in general. Like, this park is so nice. Oh my god. Yeah, I would recommend this park. And so yeah. I'm on the Sky Tower right now. And it stopped and it broke down. So they're calling maintenance over. <laughs> okay, so I rode the Sky Tower, or at least attempted to. And I have no way to rate this because as soon as we were spinning below the ground, it broke down. Like, oh my god, I just wanted that view of SeaWorld, but it's all right. I'm about to make it up for, with a re-ride on Mako, as you see. Okay, yeah. so I just got a fourth row ride on Mako, and I'd rate it a nine out of 10. Mako is my absolute favorite B&M hypercoaster, and it totally made up for the Sky Tower disappointment, and yeah. Okay, so I just rode the Sky Tower for real this time, and I'd rate it a 10 out of 10. I was able to get some freaking treasurable shots 
and it was a really good ride on the Sky Tower. And yeah. Okay, so we're in the SeaWorld gift shop and I wanted to buy this snow globe right there, but it's $26 for one snow globe, so. So this was a great day here at SeaWorld Orlando. My favorite coaster there is Mako, like, oh my God. I rode it like, I think five total times today. Yeah, I did. And I got on Manta twice and I got on Icebreaker and Kraken once, so. And, and I went, I even rode Journey to Atlantis with my family, and that was lit. And so, yeah, that concludes this vlog from Sea World Orlando. Reply to me your thoughts on this video. And, of course, make sure to stay tuned for more coming soon here to Coaster Plus Music 19. And make sure to go check out my merch store on Bonfire. I'll have a link in the description. I sell t-shirts, face masks, all the things. So make sure to go check that out. I'll have a link in the description. And make sure to, to subscribe if you are new. And to hit the notification bell when you subscribe. So you will not miss when I post a new video. And I will see you in the next.